Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Sahib Roses. So in today's video, we will discuss about the pro forma invoices in Odoo 18. A pro forma invoice is a preliminary invoice that serves a commercial document issued by a seller to the buyer and it outlines the terms and conditions of a potential sales including the descriptions of goods or services, quantity or price and payment terms. However, unlike a regular invoice, a pro forma invoice is not a legal document that binds the seller to fulfill the order. So let's see how can we manage the pro forma invoice in Odoo 18 sales module. To manage with the pro forma invoices, we have to enable this feature from the configuration settings. Currently, we have landed in the configuration settings and this allows you to send the pro forma invoice to your customer. So we know that a pro forma invoice is a preliminary invoice that serves as a commercial document issued by the seller to the buyer. So once you save this feature, we also just need to ensure that we have properly configured the outgoing mail server. So we have already discussed uh, like how to configure the outgoing mail server in Odoo. And uh, you can watch that video in order to do uh, the configuration of the outgoing mail server. So we know we are just sending a quotation to the customer and we are just giving them an information regarding the product price, the details of the items that they are going to buy in the future. Okay, so now let's move on to the orders in order to create a quotation. So I'll be clicking on new button in order to create a new quotation. So here you can see that we can choose a customer and I'm going to choose a customer over here. So once you are choosing the customer, you just need to ensure that you have given the proper email ID because here we are just going to send the quotation to the customer. Okay, so we just need to configure the proper email and afterwards we just need to set the product details. So I'll be choosing the products over here that is a Questic block screen where you can choose the variant. So you can just confirm the variant as well as the quantity. So if you have multiple product, either you can just uh, choose it one by one or we have the product catalog over here and you can also choose a product uh, from the catalog. So I'll be adding multiple products over here. So that will be the easiest way to add multiple product into uh, the invoice lines. So once it's done, you can just back to the quotation. So you can see that we have multiple products over here. And uh, here you can see few items are um, in on hand and some of the items are just out of stock and the red color just indicates that the items are just out of stock. Okay, so the customer just need to get uh, the quotation. Like they just need to know the total price and the quantity in order to just make the comparison uh, with the other uh, shop and all. Okay, so they just want the quotation. So in such cases, we just use a pro forma invoices, which is a preliminary document, which is used by the buyer and that will be getting from the seller to have a comparison between the prices of the product uh, with the other company or with the other shop and all. So here you can see that either you can just send the pro forma invoice after confirming the sale order or you can just send directly this pro forma invoices uh, when you are in the state of quotation. Okay. So I'll be clicking this send pro forma invoice. So as I just choose this pro forma invoice, like send pro forma invoice, here you can see we will be getting a wizard uh, by setting uh, the two address as a customer and you can also find the subject and here you can see this will be the body the body will be showing that uh, your pro forma invoice with the quotation number and the total amount that is available and you can also include all other details and it's from Michelle Edmund and here you can see that uh, uh, the quotation details which is in its PDF file and if you want to choose any AI uh, generated text and all you can save that okay so for the time being I don't want to set any AI generated text and all so I'm not choosing that uh, and uh, if you want to uh, insert any other templates and on, you can just get that also. And if you want to add further more attachments, you can also add the attachments over here. So for the time being, I just need to send this uh, pro forma invoice to my customer. So I'll be clicking on send button so that the customer will be receiving the quotations over here. So here you can see that we have successfully sent the quotation. And we can see that currently it's not the sale order because we are just giving the details of uh, the price and the quantities as well as the product details to the customer. 
and as you just drag down here you can see that we have successfully sent this quotation to the customer because here you can see when you just send the quotation uh, or when you send an email to the customer it will be uh, just visible under the channel with all the details such as the subject and the uh, quotation so it's not indicated in red if it's indicated in red you can see that or you can see that uh, your uh, a quotation or your mail is just blocked with some other issues so you just need to sort out that issue in order to send that and uh, yeah currently we have successfully sent that so we can just check whether the customer has received the mail or not okay so i'll be going to the customer email in order to view that so here you can see that the customer has just received the mail and uh, we can just open the mail and you would be able to find every details over here. Now you can just back to the Odoo platform uh, in order to complete with the further process. And as the customer is just satisfied uh, with the quotation or the pricing strategies and all, uh, he is just going to confirm the order. Like So that you can just click on confirm uh, the order and once we just confirm the order. You can see that the quotation sent is just uh, turned into a sale order. Okay. And afterwards, uh, the next step is to deliver the item. Right. So we can just uh, make the delivery of the item by just choosing the delivery button. And here you can see that uh, we have a few items uh, with low number of um, um, the quantities in the on hand. And if we want to just validate this process, we can just click on validate. And here you can see we can just create the back orders because a few items are not in our stock. So we can just create the back orders. And the ones they are in stock, uh, we can just um, yeah, deliver the item um, in in the other order and all. So afterwards, we can just create a, a new invoice from this quotation. So here you can see we can just create the invoice for these items, for the delivered items. And you can just click on... Uh, uh, create and just confirm that and here you can see we have just end with the process and that's how we just manage with the proforma invoices in Odoo 18. So we can see that a performer invoices establishes agreed upon the payment terms between the buyer and seller and that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.